Hi everyone, Kevin here. Today we are going to look at Windows 365. We're going to answer the question, what is it and why would you ever want to use something like it? And first off, what is Windows 365? Is it just a more advanced version of Windows 11? I mean, it has a higher number attached to it. Well, it turns out Windows 365 is a cloud PC that you stream. <laughs> but hold up, what does that actually mean? Well, the easiest way to explain it is to use a simple example. Imagine that you're in the market for a new computer. Maybe the computer you have at home is getting older, or like in my case, maybe it can't run DaVinci Resolve, the video editor. It's extremely resource intensive. So you go to your local computer store and you check out what they have available. Maybe you find a computer that has a pretty good processor. It has a lot of memory and the hard drive space is pretty sufficient for your needs. You'll be able to store lots of cookie recipes on that hard drive. So you go up to the checkout counter, but instead of paying for your computer all at once, you actually decide that you're simply going to pay for your computer by month in perpetuity. And then also when you walk out of the store, you don't carry your computer with you. You actually leave your computer at the computer store. And in this case, the computer store is actually a data center. So now you get home and you start to wonder what you actually bought. Well, here's where the cool thing comes in. You can now access your cloud PC from any of your devices. Maybe you have a tablet sitting around at home. Maybe you have an Android phone, or maybe you have a Chromebook or a really old Windows PC. You can use any one of those devices to log on to your cloud PC. And the neat thing is, let's say you connect on your tablet and then maybe you connect on your Chromebook. Everything on your cloud PC will be exactly how you left it from the previous device. Basically, all you need is an internet connection that's fast enough to stream movies and you'll be able to access your Windows 365 cloud PC. Okay, okay, so I can access my computer from anywhere, but if I bought a laptop, I could just carry that with me wherever I go anyway. So why would I need a cloud PC? Well, let's go back to the example of using DaVinci Resolve, the video editor. Like I said earlier, it's extremely resource intensive. It needs a very good processor. It uses a lot of memory. You need a very good graphics card. Now, because we have our computer at the computer store, if I need a little bit more, let's say processor, maybe I need a little bit more memory, I could simply give them a call and say, hey, give me more memory or give me a better processor. In this case though, with Windows 365, instead of calling the computer store, I simply go onto an admin interface and I could pick a better processor. I could add some extra memory. Or maybe my cookie recipes are just overflowing. I could get a bigger hard drive as well. So I could do all of that with just a click of a mouse. I could just upgrade my PC. Along with being able to upgrade my PC whenever I need just a little bit more performance, my cloud PC also has a blazingly fast internet connection. So let's go back to the example with DaVinci Resolve. Let's say I'm working on a video and maybe I'm collaborating with someone and they record, let's say 200 gigabytes worth of 8K footage that I want to incorporate into the video. Now with my home internet connection, it would take probably the entire day to get all of those files downloaded. But because my cloud PC is at the computer store, basically in a data center, it has a 10 gigabit per second connection, which is way faster than I would ever be able to get at home. So my cloud PC can download all of those files in just an instant, and then I can continue my work. For me, all I need is a home internet connection that's fast enough to see what's on my cloud PC, but my cloud PC will be able to connect way faster than I could ever imagine at home. As some added benefits, because your computer stays at the computer store, they'll also take care of all of the software updates. They'll also make sure that the security and compliance are first rate. And if you ever lose the physical device that you're using to connect to your cloud PC, well, your cloud PC is separate from that, so it stays safe. All of this sounds amazing. Sign me up, take my money. But before we do that, there are a few potential downsides that you might wanna consider. With Windows 365, you're now paying a monthly subscription fee to use Windows on a cloud PC. 
and Microsoft hasn't announced pricing yet, but it'll probably be $30 to $40 per month, depending on the license that you choose and the specs on the machine that you want. Also, if you use, let's say, Touch or Pen, I don't know how that experience will be. Remember, you're connecting to a PC that's in the cloud that's gonna be far away from where you're physically located. And if there's any delay or latency there, it might ruin that experience. And also, maybe one of the biggest downsides, if you don't have any internet, well, there's no way to use your cloud PC. So hopefully by now, you have a good sense for what Windows 365 is and when you would use it and what some of the potential downsides are. And it might sound really similar to something else called Azure Virtual Desktop. That's a similar service where you can set up a cloud PC. So what's the difference between that and Windows 365 or this new offering from Microsoft? Well, going back to our example with the computer store, with Azure Virtual Desktop, you'll have a computer at the store, but you have full control over that computer and you're on point for managing it. With Windows 365, you have a team at the computer store who are managing your device. You simply go in and you click a few buttons to set up your new cloud PC. If you need help with the management, well, you've got it. It's a white glove service. With Azure Virtual Desktop, on the other hand, you're fully in control of that experience. Okay, so that makes sense, but Microsoft also offers Microsoft 365. That's another product name with 365 in it. So what's the difference between that and Windows 365? Well, Windows 365, remember, that's the cloud-based PC, basically the computer in the computer shop. Microsoft 365 gives you access to all of the Office productivity apps like Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. So you can have both Windows 365, you have your cloud PC, and then you could also run Microsoft 365 on it, which will give you access to all of your productivity tools. Hopefully by now, Windows 365 makes sense to you, but how does it actually work? How do you get a new cloud PC set up? Well, you're gonna have your admin go in and they'll assign a license to you. And then they'll also configure what your cloud PC looks like. They'll also need to go into Endpoint Manager and set up a provisioning policy. If you're interested in what all of those steps look like, I've included a link down below in the description. Once you have your cloud PC all set up, as an end user, you simply go to windows365.microsoft.com and you can access your cloud PC directly through your browser, or you could also download an app that'll allow you to connect to your cloud PC on a Mac, on a Windows PC, on Android, on iOS, any one of those different platforms. The experience itself, once you sign into your cloud PC, is just like using Windows 10 or Windows 11. You're basically just using another PC that happens to be sitting at the computer shop, or once again, the data center. So what are my thoughts on all of this? Well, I think for companies, they're gonna love this. Now, instead of managing all of this IT infrastructure in-house, you can outsource all of that to Microsoft. And I think ultimately, that's going to cost less. Think of it this way. Imagine an employee needs a new computer every three to four years. Instead of getting a new computer now, you could simply issue a basic computer. And as long as it could access the cloud PC, you can get access to as much or as little power as you need. In the consumer space, it'll be interesting to see if Microsoft eventually brings this tech there. Imagine you wanna play the latest computer game. With Windows 365, in theory, you should be able to gain access to a very powerful computer. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. I know, yet another subscription, but hey, this one doesn't cost any money. All right, I'll see you next time.